Okay, um, my laptop died and here we are. I'm gonna finish up quickly um, since that took longer than I thought it would. Um, right now we are going to take a look at the PDF that uh, we just exported. So I like to take a look at least once at the PDF in 100% because um, that is the real size it will print. This is helpful because you get to see, are my fonts too big, are my photos too small, etc. So right now I think this looks good. Here's our trim marks or crop marks on the top and on the bottom. These are the registration marks I was telling you about. And at the bottom, you'll see that is where uh, our slug aka page info is the name is zine page number last modified um, and our spread is split up which may look alarming but when trimmed it will line up pretty perfectly so this is what a printer would like to receive single pages that they can then put into uh, printer spread from reader spread. This right now, even though it's in single pages, um, could be referred to as reader spread because this is how you read a zine on um, your computer. What printer spreads uh, is, is it puts them in the order that they need to be on the sheet of paper for print so that when you fold them, Put them inside each other, which is called collating, um, they will be in the correct um, page order. So this is our PDF. We exported it as a high resolution PDF for print. Um, things I'll do at this point is uh, would be make sure that my photos are CMYK, not RGB. Um, check my blacks, whether they're black or register, um, what register is, um, which is what these registration marks also are, are all of the colors. So if it was a RGB file, it would be red, green, blue. This uh, file for print is CMYK, so it will be cyan, yellow, magenta, black, Text when it's in black will appear not quite as dark as text that's in cyan, yellow, magenta, black. Um, something to keep in mind. And there you have it. We just created a PDF for print, five and a half, eight and a half, with bleeds, which you probably, hopefully, saw here um, outside of the trim marks and with crops, which are these crop marks. Some printers like to put their own on. Sometimes they're fine with yours. Um, something you can ask. And there you have it. Hope uh, this was informational and sorry it's a bit long, but wanted to include as much as I could. Okay, um, thank you for watching and um, maybe I'll do another. Okay, bye.